Complete this sentence, Loje. Dating me is like. Like dating me or you? Dating you, but how you know what dating is like? You've never done it. That's why I'm just asking why. Okay, I'm sorry. Dating you. Don't laugh. Hi. Hi. Is, is the seat taken? Uh, no, it's not actually. Sit down. What was the error about? Because you're expecting me to do something else. Yeah, because yeah. you've been quite naughty already. I'm not naughty. I'm, I'm, I'm a good boy. Okay. I'm a great boy. Can we start drinking? I want to start drinking. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Ah. Yeah, sorry, it's the corset. You already said. <laughs> Hi, guys. Ah. What's up? This is... You need to introduce yourself, bro. To who? My audience knows who I am. This is the third season of the show. Yeah, so they, they... they don't know who I am, no. Hi, guys. I, I, I'm pretty I'm... sure they know who you are. You don't know. I'll, I'll introduce you. Do you want to allow me? Okay, allow Do you want to just relax? I'll and let me do my job. I'll let you do your thing. All right, that's great. She's been keeping me waiting for so long. I did keep him waiting, and I've apologized to him. Just have my apology. When this glass is done, I will know. So you need alcohol to accept my apology? I don't know. When the glass is done, I will know. What's up with you, though? How you feeling? I'm good. You sure? I'm good. Yeah. How are you? I'm great. I'm How's your day, Ben? It's been good. It's, it's been, been good. Yeah. Is it better now that you've seen me on a... Yeah, a little better. Okay. Because you look good, though. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. All right. So I was reading an interview you did with Notion, and you said... You know, we actually skipped the introduction. Luigi. Okay. I did that. Don't worry. I got you off guard like that. You, you know? didn't get me off guard. It's cool. This is how we do the show. It's all right. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. So I don't do my job. Do your job. Are you sure? I got you. Okay. So I was reading an interview you did with Notion, okay. and you said love and attention was representative of where you were at the time, mm -hmm. out of love and seeking it. So are you still seeking love on Gangster Romantic, or you're done? You're done I'm with done. that? You're done. Exactly. Wash, Wash your hands. Which side you wine? Why? What happened? Life, Did man. Did you breakfast? Uh-uh. No job. <laughs> I chop, I dished, everything. So wow. That, and that's what Gangster Romantic is. It's mm. just like... All the stuff that's happened. Yeah. I just like let everything out. Mm. When was the last time you kissed someone? Wow. When was the last time I kissed someone? What is that one? Okay, you're gonna answer. Right? I'm trying to think, yeah. Mm. When was the last time I you kissed You have to think. Me? Last week? Last week. Yeah. How was that? Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Okay, so is this like somebody you're seeing or just like. No, I'm not seeing the person, you're but she was the she's a great kisser. Okay, so how did you guys get to the kissing stage? Teens. Things. We just did, we talked, you know, okay. patterns. I saw you uh, live at Art X in 2021. Oh, yeah. And I think it's one thing to be a good musician. It's an entirely different thing to be a good performer. And I think you do both of those things very well. And I think it's obvious you enjoy both of those elements as well. Yeah. We all know you've loved music for a long time. Have you loved performance for a long time as well? Or that's something that came with the music? I have not loved performance for a long time. Mm. I used to hate it. Mm. I absolutely dreaded it. But with time, I just started to know that, okay, this is part of my, oh my God, my phone's ringing. Don't cut that out. Don't cut that out. This is the second time it's happened today. Yeah. Today? Mm -hmm. Well, now it's boring. You can't cut it out. Yeah, so I never used to. Like, love it. Mm -hmm. I was very shy. I think I still am. I just know how to deal with it better now. And obviously, like, it's one thing to perform when people don't want to see you. Yeah. Per se. Mm. It's another thing to perform when, like, people are actually, like, get up to see you. Yeah. So I guess that energy from the crowd also, like, Feeds. gives me, yeah, yeah, gives me a lot of, of like, energy. But naturally, I'm, I'm really shy. Um, Mona Lisa, you said your lips like poison. I take my chance with you. Why do you want to take your chance with poison, young man? I like wicked girls. Please, I'm so happy someone has said this. Because we say this on this show all the time. Really? And you guys try to make it seem like it's an agenda. No, but they're and interesting. And I love that you said it. Yeah, I agree. 110%. They're actually the most interesting. Like... Nigerian men love wicked girls. Nigerian men? Yes, you guys or love just me. wicked girls. No, Nigerian men. But it's good when there's like, there's a limit to it. You know, mm, some people, they sure, just For sure, yeah. They're just, they're just overboard. Yeah, definitely. Like, nah. Definitely. But like, you know, let there be like a little bit of tension. Yeah. What do you think is your most attractive feature? Probably my eyes. 
Can we see them? I'm not going to show you. Okay, so why would you say that and then not show me your eyes? Just because I answer you doesn't mean I'm going to show you, you know? Uh-uh. You must show me. I'll show you, though. I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> I want to you, you guys see the energy <laughs> logic has come to this show or no? I hope you guys are seeing this. She kept me waiting. Okay, what can I do for you to forgive me? Let's, let's talk about that. Send me dollars. <laughs> like 200 k From where? For me, you know, Between big, me and you, who, who's going to have 200 k dollars? You got diamonds on your chest, nigga. Don't talk about it. Like, don't know. The diamond yeah. is 15 hour per diamond. Ah! <laughs> it cost it. You tell them that it's 50k. 50k. 15 hour per diamond. Please, I'm looking forward to help my life. And um, if that's you, step up. Accept the call. You got to call me right now. Don't, be, right. don't be a wuss. Your mom's a pastor, yes. which is a great segue for this. What has been her response to all of this, I guess? And what is your parents' general response to all of your success? Now that obviously you're a successful artist. I don't think there's any Nigerian parent that is not like happy about like success. Mm. And same goes for my parents. Like they yeah. they've been like mad excited. My mom has always been like a fan of my music. To be mm. honest, like she has always like supported like the music because she knew that that was what I wanted to do at the end of the day. My dad not so much. He's a very Nigerian father. Like he's a Yoruba man. Yeah. And he doesn't play that. He's a very go to school, get a job type person. So after uni, I told him I wanted to be an artist. It makes sense. Yeah. It sounded like I was stupid mm. to him. Mm. And a big part of that was because he wasn't really like in tune with like what I was even doing. Like him. Yeah. But um, now he's very, Everybody's very coming. supportive. Oh, very that's supportive. great. That's great. He called me Luji. <laughs> that's, that's big for me. Because like... He never really, he never cared about the music. Oh, yeah. I can see this quite emotional for you, which is really nice. It is because it was a long battle. I can't yeah. lie, like it was really long. I can relate. Yeah. You know, you kind of mentioned uni, so I know you studied uh, marketing. That's why you did yeah. your undergraduate degree. In. Was there ever a genuine interest in that, or she it was just a thing of like? I like that. Yeah. I do she, my research. She really did, yeah. <laughs> was there a genuine interest, or was it a thing of let me just get this degree? So that I can do music, because I know that's what I want to do at the end of the day. Um, at first it was like, let me just get the degree. Yeah. Just to like, just to get it, and then I started to put in the work, mm. and then it's like, ah, I'm already like halfway there, so like I might as well just like go hard and like make this work. And yeah. Like do everything you can and everything, and plus, personally, I'm I'm all in for like whatever you do, whatever you want to do. But I I profited from finishing uni first. Like, yeah. In a major way, like mm -hmm. just like learning things, having more skills beyond music, and having skills I could just use like pad on music and stuff like that. Yeah, it w it's it's priceless to be honest for me. So like, I, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying you must go to school, but if you have the chance, take it, please. Like, if you actually have the chance to get an education and still follow your dreams, because you do, you really do. Yeah, like, there's time. I like that you said just focus on the work, because I think that one thing that stood out to me while listening to your interviews reading your interviews, it was really your drive. Mm -hmm. um, whether that's like your intentionality about your work or, you know, wanting to improve yourself, really expressing that challenging yourself is important to you, not getting comfortable. Where do you think that drive comes from? <sighs> there's, there's this hunger to just achieve something. Yeah. I feel like I'm very, I'm very aware of my limited time on earth. Like... Mm. I'm very, like, I think about it a lot. I've been thinking about it since I was a kid, which, to be honest, now looking back at it, I don't know if that was healthy. That was, yeah, that's a bit Yeah, deep. but it's yeah. like, it's like six, seven, I'm crying just thinking about the fact that one day I'm, going to, I'm not going to be here anymore. Yeah. And what that's going to be like. Mm. So to me, like, a big part of just going about my daily life is making sure that I can be the best version of myself in any aspect when I'm... Yeah. Constantly driving towards that. You mentioned that it's a big deal that you know your dad has started calling you Loje. Your yep. government name is Lekon. Yes. Now, what, if any, are the key differences between Loje? Oh, are you shocked that I know that? <laughs> Loje. <laughs> you probably told me where I was born right now. Uh, what are the key differences, if any, between Lekon and Loje? What's between Lekon and Loje? There's barely any difference, mm. to be honest. Um, I remember when I was when I was making love and attention and everything, and me and my manager were discussing about okay, what the, what would the brand look like, what would the image look like, all of that. 
I was very keen on tilt, like, with him when I told him, bro, I don't want, I'm not going to fake, I don't know how to fake my life. Like, yeah. I'm not going to act like I'm something I'm not. If, yeah. If, if I try to enter into the market with that, I will fail. Mm. Because that's just not who I am. Mm. So, like, I was very keen on just taking, like, the best parts of myself and putting that out there. I studied marketing, so I know that that's always the All best the way to place. build brands. Yeah. Whatever it is that, like, I'm good at or you that is interesting about me, let's just, like, highlight that. Yeah. And that has ended up being low, Jay. So, Playing like, off. Yeah. You sing a lot about the female form, Liko. But about the Don't you? Form. About the female form. Ha. What's the first thing you notice in someone of the opposite sex? I can't lie to you. Boom, boom. Hey. I'll be honest, man, guy. That's the first thing. Something that is behind. I swear. How is that the first? How? Don't worry. You, you can you see have your from ways. the front, guy. If you're crazy, if you choke, you will see him from the front. Your music is very cheeky. I would describe it as very cheeky. Yeah. But I was watching a lot of your interviews, and I found that you were more introverted and reserved. Yes. Would you say that's a part of yourself you express in your music? Or you're doing why you in all those interviews? Because with this interview, you're already being... Do you know what's funny, right? What's funny? And I really had, I literally had this conversation today. Okay. I'm, a, I'm an ambivert. Like, I'm not, I would say I was born an introvert, right? Mm -hmm. I've, I've always been, like, indoors. Like, I'm, I stick to myself. I'm shy when I go out. Yeah. But, like, as I just grew older, I guess I was just a part of, like, me just wanting to be more evolving. outgoing. Do you get, I was just evolving, and I just stepped out a little more, and I yeah. became more outgoing, and I... I found that you build better relationships when you know how to talk to people, when you know how to walk into a room and not feel shy and just feel yeah. confident. And most of the time, people in the room would rather you actually break the ice because yeah. they're already scared to break yeah. the ice. Yeah. And it's nothing. Yeah. So I kind of built an extroverted part of myself, mm. which comes out when I'm in a good mood. Mm. Like today? Yeah, like today. I'm in a good mood. Well, you see a lot of these interviews. I'm there by like 7 a.m. in the morning after I've been recording till like 5 a.m. Yeah. So and you're it's tired. like, yeah. bro, I'm just tired. It's yeah. not even anything. Let's settle this Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa debate Mona Lisa. once and for all, please. Okay, first of all, what I want to know is do you hear the Mona Lisa? Yes. Okay. I do. So what was going on in the studio? What happened with that? So when I recorded that song, right? Mm -hmm. I did. Macho Mona Lisa, me. Macho Mona Lisa, me. Macho Mona. But then at some point we're like, no, just make it Majo Mona Lisa. So we mm. cut out the Mona Lisa me, but it wasn't cut perfectly. Ooh. So it sounds like Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa. So yeah, that's how it came out. So I'm just here to clear up the Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa and the bait. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Obviously you had uh, Chris Brown on the remix for that. Mm -hmm. Super huge, super huge. Yeah. I think, first of all, before we even get to that, the fact that SARS had kept that beat to use for something else and said, you know, if you kill it because you liked it, if you kill it, you'd be on this. this girl, and it I'm has become. Like 1,000 of my 1,000. You can't even watch my show because this is my bag. This is no, my I vibe. Know, I know, this is I my know. vibe. But, you know, the fact that it has become this absolute monster here has become today, I just feel like it's almost too poetic to be real life. What has the success of the song meant to you, just knowing the journey of even the song coming into existence in the first place? Yeah, different layers of, like, what it's done. I can't Yeah, lie. it's a great song. Obviously, a big part of that song, there, there was an ego part to it. Because mm. he did me. Yeah, I picked up on that. Yes, I picked up on that. I picked up on that. So there was that part to it, which mm. was obviously like a fun little thing. Yeah. But then, aside that, just like seeing how big the song was, because I remember, yeah, just randomly we we're having a conversation. Mm -hmm. And um, is this you and Sars when you say me, we? Sars, my manager, and okay. at the okay. time, we we're just like, just randomly like, ah. Imagine this song just get so big. Anybody and Saz literally said, anybody can take it. You can just wake up in the morning and Chris Brown and wow. just feature on the song. And it was just honestly, it was just a random comment. I didn't yeah, even remember comments. what was my manager that told me about it later. Like it was like I remember when this happened. Wow. Then I remember that oh shit. But like, can I swear? Mm -hmm. But like, it, none of us had like a plan or an idea as to like how big this is gonna be. So not no farming. This was not no like like I no, I'll, I'll go there. But like this was not no 
Was, this was just a song. Organic. That was just People that just fucked with it. And that's why I'm like, till today, I'm just very keen on like the quality of my music. For sure. I think it's one thing to have Chris Brown on the remix, which is already huge. But performing it at Wireless, how, like, what, what was that like? You captioned it, the, the post. What did you caption the post? Do you remember? I can't remember. I can't remember the caption. You're yeah, like right where I'm supposed to be. Yup. Mm. And I was like, I love that energy. I kind of experienced firsthand what creating good music can, can do for you. Can do for you. Yeah. And just seeing that happen was, it was 50,000 people. Crazy. I can't lie to you. I was nervous. So maybe other people will see you. You're not nervous. Me. 50,000 people, white people, that in my mind, like before, because before, I remember before I stepped on the stage, I can only remember probably like three times when I've been nervous for a show. Yeah. And that was the, of, yeah. that was the defining moment. Like, okay, nerves. Let me show you what your nerves look like. like <laughs> and I was holding onto the mic and I was shaking. My manager looked at me like, are you good? I'm like, I'm good, man. He's like, bro, don't worry. It's normal. Just go. And then I stepped on the stage and it was like this blackout person. Just enjoy yourself. And it's cra it was crazy because like once the song came on, everyone the was energy just singing. Changed. I'm like, what? Yeah. Like the place actually went like this. Like, mm. And that to me was just like, yeah, this is the beginning of something crazy. Because yeah. like I left that place thinking now I want to like headline. Like, I want like 50,000 people to hear me. Yeah, like we're kind of discussing. Your work has taken you all over the world at this point. Yeah. What's the favorite place you've been to so far to perform your music and why? Dubai. Mm, really? Yeah. That's a surprising answer. Coca Cola Arena, 17,000. Oh, okay, yeah. It's the, again, it's the scale. <sighs> At some point, there's a video online. At some point, everyone's shouting, Low J, Low J, Low J. And it's 17,000 people. Crazy. In an Arab country. Nah, it, was, it was a shot. Is that man. energy? Feel off of it. Yeah. And it's like, if, like yeah. It was pre now I'm thinking about You're it. You're thinking again. about it. Like, yeah, well, definitely. <laughs> like. Jennifer, I was wrong. How far the food? I've been trying to pay, but my bank is stressing me out. I've told you to leave all these stressful banks and download good money. The phone is five minutes away and I don't have time. Luckily for you, it takes three minutes to open an account with good money. Mm, but you know what is banks now? I don't have my documentation. All you need to open an account with good money is your BVN, ID, which you should have, right? Yeah. And basic details. Me? Really? Mm-hmm. Listen, let's stress be a thing of the past. Download the good money bank app and bank with ease this year. When do you feel most sexy? Ah, when I feel most sexy. Mm-hmm. That's a very interesting question, though. This is. I'm not sure about that. When I feel most sexy. Even when I just like. I'm scared of what you're about to say. No, 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 no. no. I'm not going to say nothing, nothing crazy. <laughs> but I'm waiting for rubbish. <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe when I just like when I'm in like a new fresh fit. Damn, I'm looking bad. <laughs> ah. You're obviously quite interested in fashion. Yeah. Is that something that is tied to your branding as an artist or like it's deeper than that? Uh, is it deeper than that? Mm. It's tied to, it is tied to my brand. Mm -hmm. Like I'm, I actually do like fashion. Yeah. My brother is my stylist. He's mm. a stylist. Mm. Uh, my father is... Probably one of the most stylish men in his 50s. Oh, really? I swear. He's very, very, very stylish. yeah, very stylish. My mom is really stylish. Like, my whole family, we're very keen on, like, fashion and stuff like that. So, it is in my... It's it in is, the blood. It is yeah, blood. It is in my blood. You did a four-month boot camp to create love and attention. Yeah. If you had to describe that four-month period with one word, what word would that be? Educational. Educational? Yeah. Okay. That leads me to my next question. What do you think this journey has taught you about yourself? You'll get question for this. Blah, 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 blah. But then, um, I have everything I need. Mm. Honestly speaking. If there wasn't no pandemic, I don't, I don't think Luji would be out in the same capacity as I am now. Because yeah. like SARS it, like, played a big role in just like... The whole P. If I yeah. tell you what I sounded like two years ago, if I show one day maybe I'll I listen to I'll never leak that video. I just thought about <laughs> it. I almost said maybe one day maybe I'll leak it, but nah. 
Um, it's the girl though. Like Zinelaski said, I left those posts on my Instagram. Exactly. So you can know there was a turning well, this point. One, I left the post on my Apple Music. <laughs> so you can know there was a turning point. So you know there was a turning point. But yeah, um, I've, I've grown in a lot as an artist. Yeah. Like, being with someone like SARS for a long period of time, I don't know if you've ever met him. You should have him on this show though. I've tried to have him two seasons back to back. You know, he <laughs> hates interviews. Yeah, he does. And I don't blame people because most Nigerian interviews are not the best. But this is a very fun show. So yeah. me, I don't push it. Because I'm like, somebody that you know will come on it. And you watch it and be like, ah, oh, that's actually kind of dope. Yeah. And that has happened through the seasons. So I don't want to over push it. But anyways, now that we're friends, <laughs> you can pitch the idea to him. I will, actually. Because you're the one that said that unprovoked. I didn't say no, it. I, no, I, I, think he would, I think he would actually enjoy it. Like, I agree. Because this feels more like a conversation than an it, interview. Because, you know, I'm good at my job. <sighs> <laughs> but like, yeah, um... I'm still growing, to be honest. I would say for someone that's still growing though and still new onto the scene, what you do that I think I enjoy as a listener, you play with your voice a lot. Like, you're very comfortable doing different things with your voice. Yeah. Like, only fan, Bolu, who's on set. We played that song maybe like 100 times back to back in the car. Really? Just go with the different inflections. And on Whistle too, I think you also, that was very, yeah. very... The whistle is very, it's, it's quite apparent. Just love what you were doing your voice there. So, again... It shows the intentionality, all the things you're talking about. Because people can say X, Y, Z, I'm doing that, but yeah, yeah, yeah. the music is going to do the talking. And I think you have a good understanding of that, which yeah. is good in terms of longevity for a career. Very important. Yeah. Very, very important. Complete this sentence, Loje. Dating me is like. Like dating me or you? Dating you, but how you know what dating is like? You've never done it. That's why I'm just asking why. Okay, I'm sorry. Dating you. <laughs> like a roller coaster. I'm going to need you guys to be more original because three guests have said this. And I'm like, what does this serious? mean? Yes. Okay, so like the best way to explain it is I'm chaos. Like I'm not... Why are you guys proud of this? I'm not proud of it. Like okay, you see me, I, 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 my voice will keep down. That's, that's what I was good. Saying. Like right now I'm not in a You're not in the headspace for that. Yeah. Mm. And I don't, honestly speaking, I can easily just date someone. and exactly. like and You get like, and half do half any, it. yeah. Exactly. But like I really don't want to. Like yeah. I don't want to be Cause somebody myself, damage. for my own for my own emotions. I don't yeah. want to like fuck myself up like that. Yeah. Have you ever yeah. been in love though? Yes, I have. What does love mean to you? How would you describe love? Um if anything, sometimes I feel like I asked too much of the love I was. Mm. Yeah. It's mm. like cause for me, love is like it's all consuming. Yeah, it's like it's everything. It's intention to the fullest mm. to make someone else's life amazing. Yeah. Like regardless of where you are at or what's your what your mind is on and shit like that. And mm. that's hard. That's really hard to actually yeah. like give that kind of devotion to somebody. Yeah. And plus you also want to give it to someone who's willing to give you the same thing. Yeah. Because if not, you're just wasting one way. your time. So it's like I I want to love and I want to love genuinely. I want yeah. to love like Truly, purely. So right now, if any, and right now I'm not in that space. So yeah. if I can't even be in a relationship because yeah. if anybody should try and date me, it would just literally be a roller coaster. To end in tears. Yeah. What are your creative interests outside of music? I draw. That's I like so art. cool. Yeah. That's so cool. I yeah. like that. I really. I can't draw to save my life. <laughs> I love movies. Mm. Um, I I love shooting or taking pictures. Like um, you taking the pictures or yeah, you being the subject me, of the picture? Nah, me actually taking the pictures or shooting. Mm, that's cool. Yeah. I like anything creative, art, like anything that just has to do with like art in general. Yeah. I'm very open-minded to it. I like science too though. When a new year, happy new year. Happy new year. What's your word for 2023? Ah, I don't get a word. I can't even <laughs> see. All that new year resolution. Word. I need a resolution. Anyone. I'm Just something good. that encapsulates the energy you're trying to be on this year. I want to make money. So your word for 2020 is money, eh? Money. Money. That's it. That's okay. So the title of your next project is no. Gangster. Mm -hmm. Dollars. So the word for it is because dollars. Because money can be anything. Mm. And what you, can you need specifically is dollars. Mm. Yeah, I need dollars. Mm. Okay. That's it. Your upcoming project is called Gangster Romantic. Yes. What that gives me is I'm capable of sweetness, but also demon time. Okay. Yeah, like I said, good at my job, guys. Yeah. Um, so I was going to, what can we expect? 
from this project? Demon time. From Demon the time. I can't even lie to you. From the first song, it's like, it's like, ah, ah. Just like that. Demon time. Straight to it. That's just the headspace you were in. I swear. Like, um, even when you hear songs like Leader. Yeah. Like we're going like, to talk about that next. Yeah. It's, the project is just like, it's on Demon time. Yeah. And that's where I, that's where I, I was at when I was creating that project. Mm. Uh, it seemed like you entered the studio with Vex to record leader. Like it just felt like very a very direct message to somebody. The, it was. Mm -hmm. It was a very direct I, message to somebody. Do you know what's irritating? Is that like I played the song for the person after and the person's like, oh yeah, oh, I'm like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> You're but like uh, I guess I guess I guess in <laughs> self -awareness her mind, is... she didn't think, oh, this is like fully directed at me, but like mm. it was actually directed at someone. Yeah. Like, it was a conversation. It would maybe just basically having a conversation in my head with yeah. this one person, mm. and that just ended up being leader. And I remember for for so long, I was like, mm, I don't know how I feel about it. And one day, I just had it in the right mood at the right time. I'm like, ah ah, banger. Are you still in touch with this person? No, she blocked me everywhere. Roller coaster. You think I'm lying? <laughs> hey. What do you think is my most attractive future? I can't lie to you, you're fresh. Mm. Like, there's something about like your eyes. Okay, thanks. I just like it's giving, I can't lie. It's giving. How do you know when you like someone? Stop liking other people. <laughs> Can you see what kind of your Batman answer that is? No, hey. but is that not what? So if you like someone, you you still like other people. No, but I'm saying that's not what I know. So how do you know? How do you know you that you like someone? You want to talk to the person a lot, isn't it? So here's how I see it, right? Mm -hmm. Before you find that one person that you like, you probably were yeah. in the pool. You probably have like five people you're talking to. Mm. So once you find that one person, my life hasn't played like that. Really? Mm -mm. But I think there's other thing as well with me. I think people assume that I'm talking to a lot of people, which I, I don't care. But so it's called you an attractive woman. Describe your perfect day. A perfect day for you. Perfect day. Yeah. A perfect day is a day when all my thoughts are flowing perfectly into the microphone. Mm. And like, I'm not stressing any recordings or anything, and I'm just like recording freely. It's very interesting that work is tied to your perfect day. Do yeah. you think you're like a, a workaholic? I've been told that, mm. but I don't think so. Mm. Most people's perfect days, that they're like, yeah, I won't do shit, I'll just sleep. Yeah. So it's you know what's funny? Even like, I'm a workaholic I to a degree, so I think that there's levels. But I think for you to say that, and because I relate to that, that's why I'm like, there's a workaholic element of that. Yeah. There's a workaholic element of that. But it's also like being very detail oriented, being very like in now almost about details. I'm like that. I'm exactly <laughs> like everybody at this will tell you that I'm mad. Yeah, so, I'm like that. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. I love that you love Disney movies, cause same. And the music as well. So what I want to know is exactly, what are some of your favorite Disney movie music? Oh my God. This is the question um, I want to have. Pocahontas music is undefeated. Sorry, I've said it. I'm, um, not, I'm sorry, no. No, it's I'm undefeated. No, Little Mermaid. Undefeated. Little, Little Mermaid. Mermaid has good music. Little Mermaid. But Pocahontas music. Man. Aladdin also has really good music. You know I like what? Aladdin, Say your own. Actually. Under the Sea okay. was crazy. Um, the entire Fro Frozen track, track, not Frozen 2, just Frozen the first one. one. The part two. Yeah, it they, bit, they tried, it, but... No, nah. but the, the soundtrack for the first one was really good, actually. Yeah, it was so good. Um, Lion King. Lion course, King, Lion King one. No, Lion King 2 with Simba Nala. The soundtrack for that was amazing. Um, yeah. When it comes to dating, will you say you have a type? If so, what is it? I'm a you sexual. Yeah, intelligence. And I, I, I can't lie to you. That's like amongst all the women that I have ever been with in my life, that was one thing that that's it's one consistent thing that, across that's them. consistent. Like mm. I want an intelligent woman. I want mm. someone that is that is on her game, mm. just like mentally. Yeah, that's it. Cause I, I like to have like in, yeah. uh, intelligent conversations. I, I think so. I think I picked yeah. up on that as well. Sometimes I might come off playful. When I get serious and I'm trying to have a conversation, I'm serious. Yeah, so in um, Lida, you said you did do pim, pim, pim with 
American boys in Silicon Valley. So are those American boys in Silicon Valley, are they single? I'm asking for a friend. One of them is actually single. Okay, please, I need you to call me. I don't know if you're seeing this interview. Um, I would actually tell him. Okay, you have to share. You have to share some more details, but we'll discuss it off camera. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking for that. They are there. Yeah, you like them. How do you know? How do I know? Yes. Cause you, you, you what you're looking for, man. Okay. And plus, he's cute too. Okay. He's tall. I like that. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> no. I'm happy to be amusing you like this. You are. I can't lie. Hmm. What else did I want to ask you, Leje, Leje, Leje? What else do you want to ask? Me? Okay, so you, yeah, I was reading an interview where you said Pogba messaged you. Yeah. About your music, which is so cool. Are you yeah. a United fan, first of all? Nope. Like, how shocked were you by that, number one? Number two, was it like a brief conversation? Was it like a long conversation? What was that encounter like? So, um, it started as him just posting Mona Lisa mm. randomly. The gift that keeps on giving Mona Lisa, man. And I'm like, oh, wow. Then I go onto like his page and I'm like, oh, thanks for like reposting. But like I leave the message onto like he's got like forty something million followers. Yeah. He's probably not even gonna see it. Yeah. So I wasn't expecting a reply. And then he replied. And then that ended up being a conversation that give or take probably lasted like the like the whole like a day. Wow. We're just talking back mm. and forth, like he you would message, I would reply, I would reply, like I would message, he would reply. French Montana, I went to his house. That's cool. That was very dope. Yeah. Because that was like, it started as like, just like a conversation. Mm. And then I'm like, oh, I'm going to LA. He's like, oh, when you're in LA, pull up. I'm like, what? What do you mean? Like, actually go to your actual house? But yeah, I did. And mind blown. Um, who else? There's, okay. there's just like a couple of like footballers, like other artists, DJ Snake. Um, just different people. Yeah. I'm just like, wow. But it's it's crazy because like the more it happens, the less the more I'm just like, mm, okay. That's not really what I'm looking for right now. Yeah. Cause now I don't think I don't think there's anybody right now in my life that would jump in my DMs and I would be like unless maybe like Rihanna. Yeah, Rihanna's a good Just one. cause like she's the epitome of like bad bitch energy. She is for that's sure. Just like ah, yeah, my DMs. <laughs> What's up? How's your baby? Are you alright? Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, yeah. Obviously, you've done quite well for yourself. What are you still excited about? What are your hopes? Like, what is the ideal situation for Loji? I mean, there's so much I want to do. There's yeah. so much I haven't done. Yeah. Um, I mean, world tour, massive arenas. Yeah. When I know that, okay, yeah, I'm constantly going from place, country to country, and in every country I'm entering, it's like stadium or nothing because they're just, there's just no the capacity. Is just there. Get, like, demand <laughs> is just there. Like, if you just come in, let's just do 40k capacity and just, or 50k or 60k and just know that, okay, yeah, it's shut down. Mm. That, those are things that I want to do that I haven't done, like creating music with different people to just cut cut across and like get into like different like spaces that even afro beats in general has never touched yeah. like you're obviously a very busy guy what do you do to de-stress youtube youtube you guys send me money man like, i don't even like because i've been using youtube a lot okay but can you say what you watch on youtube like what kind of shows oh my god <laughs> Like some episodes of when I'm on, when I'm on, when I'm on YouTube, I watch um like educational videos oh my God. and videos about you know Jesus Christ and how He came to save us and you know yeah. What else do you watch? That's a lie. Um, I I watch I watch everything. I watch a lot of um wild content. So basically, she's trying to get me to. Like confess. I'm not actually so like, I'm I'll to get I'll be watching to like animal autopsy. That's not what I want to from you. I want to say you watch is this you take? You think I care about the animal autopsy? Are you serious? Yeah, business. But like I, I have watched it. I do enjoy the show. I wouldn't be here if I, if I didn't enjoy the show. But the main thing you watch is animal autopsies. Because that's very No, that's normal, not the guys. main thing I watch. No. No, Jay. Hold up. No. I have watched. And you guys should watch. Nope. I watch some football content sometimes. 
um like right now transfer window they are buying players they are selling you say players. Arsenal fans yeah Raz. but anyway it's okay what so what club I guess you guys are on top of the table no whatever. what club do you support now United obviously Pogba taste Lekon what's your love language I like that I like how you call it uh my love language yeah what are, what exactly are all the love languages? Say, spell them up to me. Please. Okay, so quality time, physical mm. touch, acts of service, words of affirmation, gifts. I, I like everything. <laughs> Oliver Twist. I'm not even joking. All of them, I know. I, I like quality time. Yeah. I like um physical touch. Mm -hmm. I like words of affirmation. Mm -hmm. Um, I like um what, what was the other one? You acts said? of service. Acts of service. I do like that. Um. And then gifts. Gifts. Ah, spoil me, baby. I love that. Like, especially gifts. You like gifts. I love gifts. Mm. Like, Whatever, it doesn't even have if to you're be, looking for logic, yeah, totally. Doesn't have, like, it doesn't have to be anything crazy. Yeah, just something thoughtful. Yeah, just just the fact that like you you saw something and you thought about me and you just yeah, guy would be free safe. But the fact that you thought about me and then you just decided to bring something, yeah, I like that. I really do like quality time. Mm. That's one of the reasons why I don't think I can be in a relationship right now. Yeah. Because I don't have that luxury. That's fair. When was the last time you surprised yourself? Well, last time was yesterday at the gym. As in the amount of exercise you did or, or the fact that you went in the first place? We're, we're there for four hours first. Doing what? Who is with you and Anthony? Me, Saz, Kingsley, Blue TV. We're okay, like, a bunch of we were like, yeah, we're a lot. Like five or six. What were you guys doing there for four hours? Building the gym? Ah. Not really, Tina. What were you doing there for four hours? To be honest, right? Uh huh. It was. We're, so, we're all together. Right and because time. we're all doing the same thing. Okay, you guys had to wait turn. for each other. Oh, that's so, cute. Uh, you guys are yeah. kind of like hyping each other up. Yeah. Oh. That, it, the big part of that, yeah, that we're hyping that each other up. That's a good way to gym. Yeah. Because you need that, you need that motivation. But like, through that, I was, yeah, I was doing some stuff that in my mind, I was like, oh yeah, no, this will be too heavy. And it's like, oh wait. Ah, uh -uh. Yeah, this is doing it. Because <laughs> your guys are talking to say, oh, where would they go? Where would they go? Carry. Uh, no, you have That is so funny. Yeah, yesterday. Mm. That was fun. Nigeria would never happen to you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Wow. And action. Cheers. Cheers. I, I think you're right about that action thing. <laughs> yeah. What has surprised you the most about the journey so far? The speed in which everything has just happened. Yeah. That was like the most like, oh, wow. I didn't expect it to happen like this, like this quickly. Did it feel overwhelming at any point? Overwhelming, no. Okay. That's not the word to use for anything mm. that's happened. Mm. I've had moments that gave me anxiety. Mm. Um, I've had moments that gave me fear. Yeah. But never, never been overwhelmed per se. Mm. All right. Give me my three statements. I dated someone for six years. Okay. Don't know. So anyways, I don't know. Okay, continue. I lost my virginity at 18. Okay. Um, I was in an abusive relationship. Physically abusive relationship. Look, these are such heavy. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Why would you say this? You put me on the spot. So. I didn't put you read. What yeah. kind of facts are these? How am I supposed to know what you're doing in your house? You're a physical abuse, not your virginity. Like, am I, as you do I have a tracker on your, I don't know, body? Okay, so the thing you said, what? Let's have a virginity at 18. You're in a abusive relationship. What's the first one? What's the first one? <laughs> what was the first thing? I was in a relationship for six years. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. <laughs> you did this one for six years. That's possible, and I feel like you think I won't believe that. So you're like, but I don't know. That's possible, but also, hmm, you're actually quite young. So hmm, yeah, quite young. So maybe that's not possible actually, because I'm like, when were you doing that? Except the person from like secondary school to like uni. So I was going to say this to me over analyze it, and it is. What was the second thing? You lost virginity at eighteen. That's very possible. 
I think you said you grew up quite sheltered. You grew up in a religious house. Possible. It is not a lit. What's the third thing you said? You're um, in a physically abusive, abusive relationship. relationship. As in, you were being abused. Yep. Do you know what? <laughs> Just, just, I failed. I don't even want to even. What? Because that is just too deep a thing to introduce. I don't even want to engage with that. To be honest, I'm, I'm not, I'm not. Talk. I've just failed. Just tell me the answer. I don't know. They're all true. I can't lie. There was no, there was no lie. What kind of chaotic individual is this? What kind tried, of chaotic tried, individual I, is this? I tried, I tried to put in a lie, but I couldn't think of one. Yeah, you don't have a good enough. poker face here. It's not gonna work. Well, yeah, anyway, I'm not it's good okay. at lying. So you lost. So that means you owe me something. What? You want some of my wine? No, I don't want dirty wine. <laughs> wine that I give to you. You say, do I want to do please? Let's be serious. Okay. I'm going to play a card game. Mm. Just so that you owe me something, Roger. I will. I, uh, I don't know. Sorry, rushing me. Let me think. Maybe that's a track. Ah. I'll play for you once. What are you most excited about concerning your future? The family I raised. So I said, ready to sit down. Can I see how men are confusing? I'm joking. Money. Exactly. <laughs> <I know. laughs> mm. Money. Shout out to Loji for being on the show. Shout out to you for having me. Shout out to you for being open. You're a great guest. Shout out to you for being a good host. I had a great time. Give me good food. Yeah. All good right. wine. Good. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you so much for being so early as well. Like, it, it means so much to me. Can you see how you meet people that can never like, let anything go? Because what? how's Loji not let this go? What? Cheers. But thank you for being early. Thank you for being early too. You're so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> how was it? It was actually amazing. Like, Chinaza is amazing. And the food was good. The wine was good. And yeah. Ask, would you go on a, on a second date with me? Yeah. She said yeah. Mm-hmm. It was amazing. Now I have to be an upstanding man. He, yeah, you already said you don't have capacity for it, so it's okay. There's no need. <laughs> There's no need. We can, we can be friends. Friendship is good. Did you just friends with me online? <laughs> oh, fuck my